Hi guys, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel. Here I speak about Russia, Russians and the way we live. Sometimes I get a question. Why do Russians prefer living in apartments to living in private houses? The simple answer is because Russians don't really have any other choice. However, let me make it clear to you. First of all, after the Second World War, many cities, towns and villages were destroyed completely and in 1950s a restoration of factories began. So people who worked there and who uh, had lost their um, houses during the war had to leave somewhere. So the government began constructing a two-storied wooden buildings for such families and these buildings were named barrack. Such buildings didn't have toilet, uh, bathroom, it didn't have um, cold or hot running water, uh, it didn't have um, central heating and um, people had only a room or two for a family and um, there was only one kitchen for all the families who lived on a floor. This type of housing was considered a temporary uh, option for people. Um, it was to endure 20 to 30 years maximum. But you know guys, many families in Russia still live in barracks in 2020. Of course, authorities, officials and people who had high positions in factories lived in beautiful apartment buildings and had big apartments with a toilet, bathroom and cold running water at that time. In 1960s, the Soviet government took a course on massive construction of simple apartment buildings. They got the name Khrushchevka and that is considered the period when Russia completely switched to living in apartments. So Khrushchevka is a typical five-story building that looks like a box. It was constructed of concrete panels. This type of housing was cheap and quick to construct and allowed moving a lot of people, a lot of families from barracks to uh, their own private apartments with toilet, bathroom, kitchen and central heating. With the development of construction industry, the number of floors began increasing and later they began constructing seven to nine storied buildings, apartment buildings. And at present, we ended up with 20 to 23 storied apartment buildings. And I know that there is an apartment building in St. Petersburg that has 33 floors. I know that in some Western countries, including the USA, uh, they implemented uh, this idea of a vertical construction of apartment buildings in 1960s, but very soon they um, refused this idea because uh, these areas they mm, spread. Um, used to spread crimes and uh, it was not comfortable to live uh, in uh, huge areas of multi-storied buildings uh, but in Russia it's okay so uh, if it's not very comfortable why Russians still uh, live in multi-storied buildings uh, I think the answer is simple here too because that is because developers uh, get more profit and more money constructing multi-storied buildings like 20 to 23 uh, storied buildings uh, they get a piece of land and it is they will get more money uh, from uh, a thousand of apartments than if they will build like 15 private houses so the answer is simple as for me, I don't like this idea uh, too, because um, uh, it's not comfortable uh, living in such areas. For example, uh, in uh, the suburbs of St. Petersburg, where uh, these areas of multi-storied buildings uh, are being built right now and uh, have been built uh, already, I know that uh, public transport is stuffed with people during morning and evening rush hours and there are a lot of problems with traffic jams uh, there because uh, very, very many people live there. Uh, and 
It's one man. <laughs> Dogs came. <laughs> As for me, I would like to have my own house with a backyard, with beautiful scenery, with a lake or uh, something like that. And uh, there are such areas um, around St. Petersburg. Uh, they, uh, they are situated outside the city uh, and um, people uh, used to um, use them during summer. They have summer houses, but many people have uh, houses uh, where they can live uh, during winter and it's not very comfortable to live there uh, also because uh, all the infrastructure is situated within the borders of uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, there are no uh, proper uh, shopping malls, grocery stores, um, fitness centers and other um, facilities that people need uh, during their life uh, and um, uh, moreover you have to commute each day to the work uh, which is also mostly situated within uh, the city so these areas of private housing are not very comfortable e either and besides uh, private houses in uh, russia uh, in the suburbs of saint petersburg costs a lot mainly um, rich people buy houses uh, their private homes uh, and um, mostly they have an apartment in the city and a house outside the city so uh, that's how russian housing uh, works right now in saint petersburg in particular i don't speak for uh, moscow and other cities i never lived there and i don't know situation uh, in there uh, but i know that uh, in moscow and moscow region it is the other way around these areas of private housing in moscow and moscow region have uh, some decent um, infrastructure i think that i will be right if i tell you that every russian would like to have his own house but only a few people can afford it in russia so guys that is all i have to say about apartments and private housing in Russia and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the channel for more information about Russia and Russians and see you in my next video bye guys